have a passion for something and opportunity and passion have a chance to meet, you know something great is going to happen. At Mott, we really have a passion for embracing cultural diversity and global awareness. So we have this opportunity through Michigan Campus Compact and the Facing Project to express our pas a passion for cultural diversity and global awareness. Well, the Facing Project is a national storytelling initiative with this mission to connect people through stories to strengthen their communities. So the stories can encompass any topic a community is facing. At Mott, we felt that the Facing Project would be one way to support our international immigrant students and strengthen our community through cultural understanding and appreciation on our campus. I think my first reaction when I was told about the project was, I was really excited. I mean, it, sounds, it sounded like a really cool opportunity. The idea behind it, the cause of like the Facing Project was really interesting to me as well. So that was, that was exciting. So interestingly, the Facing Project co-founder, uh, Kelsey Timmerman, got the idea for the Facing Project through some of his own international travels. And with our focus being on our international and immigrant student populations, our experience had the characteristics of a study abroad without leaving the campus. So using this topic of Facing College, we began this incredible journey. Well, one thing that we hope with the Facing Project is that students get an opportunity to sit down with someone they otherwise may not have sat down with, to have a just traditional conversation, to get to know each other, to connect across difference is what we like to say. We had the support of our leadership, so I just needed a team on board, and I had 14 faculty and staff members jump on the bandwagon. With the help of our fa uh, staff in uh, student recruitment, we connected with our foreign-born students and we invited them to an information session. We were able to have our students from all over the world meeting for the first time in one place and it was so exciting. This meeting provided an opportunity for the students to share their experiences with one another and even make some new friends. So following this session, we had 29 students from 17 nations that were able to join the Facing Project from start to finish as our storytellers and share their voices with our campus and community on this topic of Facing College. I decided to join the Facing Project as a storyteller because I think this project is amazing. It's the way that the international students like us can share our story to everybody, American student or the international student. It like made me realize what I have and what I when I came here and from what I grew from nine years old to now. That just uh, how I've physically grown up and how I've changed and how I acquired this other new culture. Just kind of like an introspect to what I've become. And then we matched each storyteller with an author who would then be telling their story in a written format. So my colleague, uh, Dr. Joshua Sobey, um, an English professor, he organized this opportunity as a service learning project for his students enrolled in his honors English class. The Facing Project, when it first came um, up uh, during a conversation um, uh, about a year ago, it, the idea of having students actually doing some interviews and hearing some stories that they would not have normally heard before um, seemed fascinating to me. Uh, I teach an Honors 102 class where part of the elements of that class is to do some sort of service learning. So this just fit right in with what I wanted to do. With the help of another colleague, uh, Jessica Hunter, in our foreign language department, we organized a meet and greet so that the authors and storytellers could meet. And um, at this event, the authors and storytellers engaged in some really meaningful activities so they could get acquainted with each other and share their thoughts uh, about joining the Facing Project, about meeting people from diverse cultures, and of course, to have them begin to pair up for the actual project. And I tell you, everyone was feeling really great about contributing to this project. When we got the storytellers and the authors together, um, the goal was to match a storyteller with an author. And I thought that it would be best to have them make a connection and choose who they wanted to work with. We did a type of speed dating activity and the students were very nervous and apprehensive. Um, and 
but they did it, and they did great. They made connections, they made friends. The meet and greet was actually really exciting. I loved the way that we did our speed dating and how we were able to go around and meet each storyteller so we can get a fair about if we connected with them. We used our foreign language lab for the peers of authors and storytellers to meet one another, and it was a great place on campus to have a conversation. Uh, with, in there, there's these high top tables, and we have refreshments. It was sort of a cafe style environment, and we recorded the meetings so that the storyteller and author could enjoy the conversation without worrying about taking a lot of notes. The storytellers shared their stories, and the authors began the process of gaining insights into cultural understanding as they're capturing the ideas for their writing. In a way, she taught me how to be empathetic. Um, it's one thing to sympathize for somebody and say, oh, that must be hard, but it's a completely different thing to actually put yourself in their shoes and feel what they feel. So that was probably one of the biggest things I learned from her was how to empathize for other people's struggles. I really realized how much an immigrant actually goes through in America. I had this perception that it's easy to come in America and become part of our community because we're so diverse and to know that there's struggles and challenges just with even little things I had no idea about. It opened my like, eyes to a whole new perspective on life in America. So through this exchange and continued dialogues, the authors created first-person narratives or poems with real depth and breadth of expression of what the storyteller really wanted to say by taking on the persona of the storyteller. In other words, they really had a chance to walk in the storyteller's shoes. The stories talk about triumphs and tragedies, barriers, bridges, anything that was related to them coming to the point of being in college here in the United States. And each story brings about new understanding of culture and global awareness. So then, as we planned the publication for these stories, we wanted to reach more of our campus community. So we decided to include artistic expressions for some of the stories. Um, one of my colleagues, Professor Jenna Andrews, recruited students and faculty to interpret their uh, some of the stories through an artistic viewpoint and capture the voice of the storyteller in this type of interpretation. Whether the artist did painting, sculpture, or digital art, no matter what the medium, each artist really expressed what they hoped that the storyteller was expressing. I hope the storyteller can, can see what kind of impact she has on others just, just by her life story. I found it very interesting and, and I was able to pull different pieces and tie them together. And I hope she realizes what an impact she has on me rewarding for me would be kind of like I did capture that feeling I did get that emo those emotions and that sense of going out there and that risk I guess I think that would be kind of a good feedback to get from them. I think uh, I've benefited so far from this project a lot as far as uh, my designing and graphic skills go along. This taught me how to really like look at uh, things from a different perspective. So then we expanded it even further. We reached out to our photography department. We were able to recruit photography interns to photograph the artwork for the publication. And in addition, they photographed the storytellers and the authors. So by adding the photography into the publication, it provides a visual concept of this cross-cultural exchange that was taking place through this project, as well as expressing the essence of the stories in a visual context. We were really excited to take the project to the next level, showing the stories to our campus community through a book launch and a live event. And for this phase of the project, we reached out to the students in media arts and theater. One goal was to have every story presented at the live event, either through a piece of artwork on display, or through a dramatic reading, or a video interpretation. So this was indeed the most challenging part of this project. 
Some theater students even took on the challenge of taking on more than one persona. And so they were maybe sharing uh, the story of a mother who was a refugee from Ghana and then having to become a young man from Mexico escaping corruption and violence from a drug cartel. It was really interesting and I really liked the idea of being able to share another person's story who might not have been able to have their, uh, their story shared. And so that's why I really wanted to come out. Um, hearing about it was sort of like, uh, like just an opportunity to be able to share stories that I've always wanted to be able to be a part of. Our campus video club took up the challenge by preparing these short videos of some of the stories completely on their own time. But with determination, I told myself I will be a musician someday. I practiced every spare moment of every day. It was really important that this project provided an avenue for community networking and support. And at the book launch, we invited a number of agencies that have a vested interest in our immigrant and international students. And this provided an opportunity for our campus community to learn more about these agencies, as well as for the agencies to get connected with our student population. I think it's very comfortable. It's good to see so many people here. And uh, the, the college is doing just an, such an excellent job of the, all of that. So I'm pleased. Our book publication encompasses the heart of this project, and our own professor of graphic design, Dr. Mara Fulmer, put this beautiful book together for us. It provides the avenue to carry our message forward, to encourage and embrace global diversity, awareness, and appreciation, and not only throughout our campus and our community, but hopefully on other kind of campuses and other communities too. Each story shares a unique experience of facing college from many different cultural perspectives, and each story embraces a shared understanding of the human experience when one faces new challenges.